Hey guys, what's up? Murder here, and I'm getting into episode 4 of Ruby. I'm so excited. It's been a few days since I've watched the last episode, so I'm like super stoked to finally be getting back into this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your thoughts in the comments, but without further ado, I'm going to be getting into this almost immediately. I'm, I'm skipped like a second before the episode starts, so in 3, 2, 1, now. Is Yatuhachi sitting down? Oh my god, Yatsu! What's it gonna be? What?! Holy shit! There's four parts! <laughs> oh! This is gonna be so fucking dynamic. You can see some dust- Outfit, kid. I'll try not to get blood on it. I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like her. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy shit, she's just leveling that gr- Whoa! Oh, music! I still have the music on, it's going through my headset. Yo, Yachuhashi! Oh my gosh, this music's hype just like caffeine! Whoa! Oh my god, Merc! Mark! Two v one! Mercury! Oh my God! <laughs> so it flips! This dude, oh my Yo Yatsu, come on. Yes! <laughs> I'll take the thing else you guys can hear. Oh, music again. Oh my god, Merc! Merc! My rooster teeth! Oh my god, you guys still have it! You okay? This music is so hype! Oh shit, you fucked up her. Like her. Oh my fucking god, this happened! Okay. What happened? What? How? Damn. This fucking team! Whoa! Oh my fucking god! Wait, no! Like... You're... leaving? <laughs> yes. I was merely needed to oversee the transport of additional units to Vale. Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. I believe you had a run-in with its cargo, actually. It's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage. Otherwise, your team may not have fared so well. Oh, wow. Weiss, 
You've done well out here on your own. Aww. You should be proud. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. <laughs> I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? Then what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? <gasps> I... You know I can't. It was a summoning. Something ridiculous. Every Shmi has the ability to summon. Really? For generation. I tried. It's just... It's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shmi's are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. Oh. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your semblance is like a muscle. The more you practice with it, the, the stronger, stronger it, it becomes. Become. Yep. But if you only focus on one aspect of it, if you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible. Oh my. What? Oh, what? A grim? And you'll never truly grow. Oh my god, they're playing video games! <laughs> By the way, don't ever call me old. Oh my god, no chill, Yang! Yeah, where was I? You were telling us about your last mission! Oh. Right, right. I come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with low lowlifes and thugs, and even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired. My fucking heart, dude, can't handle this episode right now. Jobs. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of of the innkeeper's skirt length. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Best two out of three. Wow. So, Little Crow, did you get in trouble with us? Little that? Crow. Yeah, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> cool for an old guy. Not funny. Mm. Hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for like, ever. Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, I get that. We're pretty much pros, too. Oh, really? Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally saved Vale while you were gone. Funny, mm -hmm. because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. Mm -hmm. But they don't <laughs> give out medals for almost. They do, and they're called silver. Well, we helped take down Romero. shit and crimes been down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. Mm. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in a kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. <laughs> Violence hasn't dropped since Roman got nabbed. Mm. It stopped completely. No white fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a king Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. Mm. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. Oh. <sighs> team Stark. Team Stark! I met your parents. Summer's the leader? Do you well know back in the day? Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that. <laughs> but Aww, I'll see her mom. When you're older. Oh, anyway, <laughs> I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. Aww. You're gonna crap my style. <laughs> Look, just remember that you've still got a long way to go. Yeah. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. You too. You're gonna go far, but only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Monty! Oh my God! I can't believe they did that. Oh my God! Now think to your fallen foes, the 
ones that force you to push yourself past who you oh, are and become who you are now. Think of them and watch as they come to your side. I can't. Stop I... doubting yourself. I'm trying. If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. I don't need his charity. Oh my God. But you do need his money, don't you? <laughs> what? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. Mm-hmm. True that. Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. I love this. I love Winter now! Oh my god! You have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or you could continue to explore Remnant. Discovering more about the world and honestly, more about yourself. It's time for me to go. Oh, they're leaving. She's leaving already. It was really good to see you, Winter. Until next time, sister. <laughs> Another song? Aww. They're going their separate ways. Oh, did she summon that? That sword? Oh, what? This is Mirror Mirror Part 2? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This episode was amazing. Music. <sighs> I can't wait to try to memorize this song. This reminds me of caffeine. It's so hype and Oh my goodness gracious, this episode, oh my god, oh my god, oh my goodness gracious, oh my goodness, Mercury, we're, like, they're threatening now, like, this entire time, I've been thinking to myself, I'm like, Okay, Mercury and Emerald are part of a bigger plan with Cinder, and they are a threat. They are literally a threat after this episode. We got a taste of what he can do. Oh! I love Winter now. Just like that. She's caring. She, she's affectionate. She, she really cares about Weiss. And she wants her to discover herself and not need her family and not need to be binded by, you know, duties and family issues. And then Crow in his... Oh, it was like a family-oriented episode besides the beginning. But I do feel like I was onto something when I said that... When I mentioned in my review of episode 3 that Cinder's pooling these teams to fight each other... Like, Yatsuhashi got knocked out and we didn't even see it. And then Coco got, got like, hit from behind too. And they look like they're out. Like, not just for that match, but even in the aftermath. And I feel like that's going to mean eventually when Cinder comes through with her plans that they're not going to be around as backup. And I think that's what they're slowly doing. They're going to slowly cut away the competition. They're going to slowly cut away any type of reinforcements or backup or help that can come through and whenever their plans go off. Oh my god, Mercury. Mercury. 
I can't believe that! Rooster Teeth! That's, oh my gosh! They're going above and beyond every episode. And it's incredible. And then they keep moving forward in- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was- that was special. <clears throat> that was truly, truly special. And... I <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better episode, you know? We got that hype song. We got two new songs. We got a hype song and what I believe is Mirror Mirror Part 2. Like, I thought we'd only get a Red Like Roses Part 2, but we got a Red Like Roses Part 2, a Mirror Mirror Part 2. I wonder if we're going to get it from Shadows or Burn Part 2 as well. Oh my goodness gracious. Episode 4 of Ruby. I thought I liked Episode 3. And those were summonings. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Thank you guys for watching this. Please leave something in the comments on this episode, on my reaction, on your thoughts of what you thought about this episode, anything. And I need to go back and rewatch that episode and fanboy all over again and break things down for my review. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the review. Take care.